Hey guys, Glenn here. You tired of having filament that's too wet and it's all stringy? Well, you either buy the Solvol filament dryer that I had in the video, which uh, you can look that up if you haven't seen it already, or you just keep them from not getting wet in the first place. Uh, so this is how I do it. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm also had an experiment on how much uh, silica beads to put um, in the containers that I bought, um, and it worked for me. So maybe it'll work for you too. For those who don't know me, I make videos about making money on Etsy with your 3D printer. If that sounds like something you like, subscribe down below. If you get any value out of this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. It makes other people like you find selves find the video as well. So let me show you on Amazon what I actually bought. So these are the bins. Uh, you can get them in different packs, but I think six pack uh, was the best uh, for me, I actually bought them at $65. Right now, they're $45 or $44.64, which is a really good deal. Um, so I suggest getting these ones. Uh, it's the Blue Aquarium uh, six pack. Um, it's only $7.44 each. Uh, so if you buy them individually, they're going to be much more expensive. Or if you buy them from Walmart or anything, they do, all, they do have them at Walmart, but they're way too expensive. And why would I want to go to Walmart when I could just have them shipped here? These are the dry and dry blue uh, silica bead, silica gel beads that uh, are reusable. You could put them in the oven, and reuse them. Uh, they come blue and then they become purple over time. So basically, you only have to buy these once. I suggest getting at least the eight pound uh, if you're going to use all six containers. Uh, that's probably going to be enough for at least six months to a year. Um, if not, you might want to go to the 16 pound, which is you know obviously going to be more expensive. You're looking at 70, you know, almost 80 bucks versus the 40 bucks. Um, or, you know, if you want to cheap out or if you don't have much filament to store like me, I have a lot of bins that I, I'm going to need. I'm going to need even more than the six I bought. If you only have a couple bins, just do the two pounds or 3.6 pounds. Uh, just do the calculation of try to do about two pounds uh, per bin and no less than one pound. All right, let's go over to our filament here. This is how I normally store my filaments. I'm actually out of black, which is scary. I normally put them on the top and the bottom here, uh, PLA at least. See the bottom, but these, these things are awesome. So this is where I keep my black PTG. This is where I keep my gray PTG. How you open these, very simple. You open one, two, and then you lift it up. Now inside, you can see there's a rubber uh, foam gasket there um, and then I put these silica beads in here and I'm going to tell you what's working um, and how much you got to put in okay now this is one pound of silica beads this is 0.75 pounds of silica beads now you can see that 0.75 is keeping it pretty blue and the one pound is keeping it pretty blue then you go over here and I did just a half a pound and then a quarter pound and you can see it's purple so it's time to put these in the oven uh, you know or the filament dryer and get them back to where they gotta be so they are renewable which is great but you really want to have at least a pound in there for a space like this to keep these bags dry normally there's there's more filament in here um, but I just have to have order more so so I would not get these bins uh, for PLA. It's more PETG or ASA or um, you know ABS things like that. Definitely PETG or anything anything else besides PLA. You need these bins. You need you need something to store these in. I was using bags, which was really annoying. To it's not as fast as the bins. It's not as neat as the bins. You can't see exactly what you have. Things slip off and fall when the printers move things around. It, it's it's much better for me. Um, so this is why I recommend these bins. Now for my PLA, I leave it all outside. It's not a problem unless it's long-term storage. So something that, uh, you know, a PLA, I do have some some PLA in bins that I, I'm not going to use or I don't expect to use for a year or two years or three years. You know, if uh, you don't want to keep it out for years because it gets brittle and uh, it might also get some moisture because I'm in basement now is where my studio is. Uh, so that's why I needed these bins. I hope this helped you guys. Watch this video next. Have a good day.